Hello everyone. Our today's A level chemistry topic is um, group 2 elements, solubility comparisons, solubility comparisons between the compounds of group 2 elements. These compounds are oxides or hydroxides, then sulfates and then carbonates. If we compare the solubility of all these, the solubility of the oxides or hydroxides from top to bottom increases. Why it is increases? As we have discussed previously, metallic character of the element of group 2 play a very vital role in this case. From top to bottom, metallic character of the element increases. Transfer of electron from the alkaline earth metal to oxygen become more easier and they produce oxide and their ionic character increases that's why solubility solubility of the oxides increases when oxides dissolve in water then oxide and combine with water producing hydroxide ion it means that the hydroxide ions will be produced in larger quantity so alkaline nature will be increased and the solubility also increases. But in case of sulfates and carbonates, the solubility of the group 2 substances decreases both. And the solubility of both these compounds there is a competition between lattice energy and hydration energy. As we move from top to bottom down, then no doubt lattice energy also decreases. But as compared to decrease in lattice energy, the decrease in hydration energy is more significant or more abrupt. That's why when hydration energy decreases, then the interaction of water molecule with the cations or anion produced decreases. As a result, the solubility of sulfates and carbonates both decreases. Now, reactions of carbonates with acids. If we consider group 2 elements carbonates, for example, magnesium carbonate, calcium carbonate, barium carbonate, strontium carbonate, beryllium carbonate, water, whatever the case. Then we can easily understand, we can easily consider that all these carbonates, these reacts with acids, all these reacts with acids and produce salt along with the production of water and carbon dioxide. For example, if we take example of magnesium carbonate, calcium carbonate, barium carbonate and react all these carbonates uh, separately with HCl, H2SO4, nitric acid or phosphoric acid then along with the water and carbon dioxide they will produce respective when we will react carbonates with HCl we will get chlorides magnesium chloride, calcium chloride, barium chloride as a salt if we react with sulfuric acid we will get respective sulfates magnesium sulfate, calcium sulfate, barium sulfate if we react with nitric acid, we will get the respect of nitrates, magnesium nitrate, calcium nitrate, barium nitrate. And if we react all these carbonates with the phosphoric acid, then we will get the respect of phosphates, magnesium phosphate, calcium phosphate, and barium phosphate. Similarly, uh, all these alkaline earth metals, alkaline earth metals, uh, their compounds, carbonates, show basic behavior because they react with acid and produce salt. Rest of the compounds, sulfates or uh, uh, other phosphates 
or uh, nitrates these are uh, typically salt made from the group 2 um, elements now next is the thermal decomposition of carbonates and nitrates of group 2 we have discussed in our previous lecture that elements of group 2 are beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium radium is a radioactive element that's why its compound is not discussed now we are going to discuss thermal decomposition thermal decomposition decomposition of carbonates and nitrates carbonates and nitrates if we consider the carbonates anion is constant but if we change the cation we know that all these cation will be a positive to charge will be a positive to charge now charge is fixed but from top to bottom volume is increasing this means that the charge density is decreasing whenever charge density will decrease of a cation its polarizing power will decrease means it can't distort the electrons of carbonate ion more significantly if the charge density is less the least charge density group 2 cation is barium and the maximum charge density of group 2 cation is beryllium now if we take beryllium carbonate as the cation is smaller in size with greater charge it will have a higher charge density and it will attract the electron of oxygen with more power distorting whole of this carbonate so decomposition of beryllium carbonate will become easy in comparison if we take barium carbonate as the charge density of barium ion is less so it can't disturb the electronic cloud of whole carbonate ion that's why the carbonate ion will remain as such will not be distorted and the thermal decomposition of barium carbonate will become difficult it means that from top to bottom thermal stability thermal stability thermal stability of group 2 carbonate increases thermal stability increases or we can say from top to bottom the carbonates of group 2 elements become more stabilized will not be decomposed quite easily this is the factor on which the decomposition depends now if we discuss the nitrates if we discuss the thermal decomposition of nitrates thermal decomposition of nitrates we know we know that that again the charge density of beryllium ion is maximum and the charge density of barium is minimum now beryllium can polarize nitrate ion more strongly as compared to barium barium cannot disturb the electronic cloud of nitrate but we know that from top to bottom as the charge density is decreasing the thermal stability of nitrate is also increasing 
thermal stability from top to bottom of nitrates will also increase will not be easily decomposed we know that if we take say magnesium magnesium carbonate if we take magnesium carbonate if we decompose we know that this this will produce magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide but from top to bottom their decomposition become difficult now if we take nitrates if we take nitrates again the same process will take place if we take magnesium nitrate and if we heat it will decompose producing metal oxide nitrogen dioxide and then oxygen and if we uh, if we balance this equation we will get just like this this equation explains that if we heat the nitrates of group 2 metal these will decompose in three components metal oxide nitrogen dioxide and oxygen but if we take barium nitrate it will produce same compounds but the temperature required will be much more as compared to the first magnesium element because the charge density of barium is less as compared to charge density of magnesium so the charge density play vital role in the thermal decomposition of carbonates and nitrates next is the uses uses of group 2 elements compound the most abundantly uh, uses are of calcium hydroxide lime for the agriculture purposes we use to control the acidity of the soil which is produced as a result of acid rain next second use marble is marble is used in cement industry in metallurgical process it is roasted to produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide now in the blast furnace calcium oxide is used to remove acidic impurities similarly the calcium compound calcium sulfate hemihydrate hemihydrate it is also used as a plaster of paris for the binding purposes and for the uh, sculpture uh, preparations similarly all the compounds of magnesium uh, calcium strontium barium depending upon their color frame they are widely used in flares and fireworks uh, dear students please comment like share and subscribe to the channel uh, for the next upcoming value lectures i thank you all